Your goals need to be really specific with numbers and deadlines. For example, increasing app downloads by 5% in 30 days. You can use these goals as your KPIs or key performance indicators for the next few months. This will help you evaluate the success of your business. Remember, a KPI is a business metric that you'll use to evaluate factors that are important to your success. Each business will have different KPIs. For example, a clothing store's KPI may be net revenue. The government's KPI may be employment rate. Whereas for a barkment, our KPI could be the number of sitters we have on our site or the traffic we get to the site. So to choose these goals, you'll want to start thinking about the stage in the funnel you want to improve on. Is your goal to try to bring in more visitors? Here, you're going to want to consider traffic. So your goal could be to increase traffic by 5% in the next 60 days. Maybe your goal is to convert customers to leads. You can consider signups here. So your aim could be to obtain 15,000 signups to receive launch notifications over the next 90 days. Or maybe your goal is to convert leads to customers. We could consider enrollments here. Our goal could be to enroll 5% of our leads into our premium subscription, or just to turn them into paying customers. Goals like these are trackable, and we can easily tie them into our Google Analytics account to track. We'll discuss that later in the course. Okay, so taking in what you've learned so far about setting your marketing goals, I want you to revisit the two goals you created earlier and change them to reflect what you've learned. Now challenge yourself with this, but be realistic. You don't have all the money in the world yet, and your team is probably understaffed. Fill in your responses here.